And now we're getting to the Z-Sphere retopology part of the document. And if you still have this one, we're going to retopologize this just to kind of give you an example. Uh, if you still have polygroups for this thing, what you can do is control shift, isolate that top polygroup here, go to delete hidden, and I'm just going to go down here to geometry and open up. I'm holding down shift to keep multiple menus open, by the way. I'm going to go down here to Z remesher. And if you're so inclined, one thing you can do is let's go down here to masking. I'm going to turn off everything but border, mask by features with border selected, control tap to invert that mask over here to my deformation menu. Go up here to Polish by Features, turn on to Open Circle, and then just do a quick Polish by Features to polish the edges of my object only. Because if you have a bunch of angular um, edges in here, Zero Mesh will try and keep that up. Or try and maintain those alias looking edges. So now we're going to go here to Geometry, Zero Mesh. I'm going to do a target polygon count of like 2, adaptive size down to 0. The higher adaptive size you have, the more it'll try and build in edge features. The lower it is, the more it'll just keep nice even quads. So I'm going for nice even quads here. Hit Z remesh. And because we have X symmetry turned on, it's going to be symmetrical on both sides. Now I'm just going to do half Z remesh. Just turn on half and then just keep hitting that Z remesh button until it Z remeshes it down. And then I can go in here with my move brush, kind of move these things around. And now I have a nice Z remeshed version of this thing. Now. You can do that in lieu of doing the topology thing. I'm going to do the topology thing as well because it's useful. Uh, but then you can just do a Q mesh polygroup all, pull that inwards, and then of course go down here to your or display properties here and choose flip. And now we've got that front leather piece remeshed. And now I can hit Control D and uh, get a nice smooth part of that. I can also go in here to my geometry crease menu and do crease PG. That'll take all of the polygroups here and put a crease around each polygroup border and then when I subdivide these it'll keep those edges nice and creased and then I can go into my crease menu and choose uncrease all and then control D one more time to add a subdivision that will kind of bevel those edges. So that's a really quick way to simplify and smooth out your geometry or you can do it the manual way which may be a better option depending on both the type of object it is and the amount of control you want. So I'm going to grab this undo slider and just undo all the way back to where we have the block out here. There we go. And now let's go ahead and uh, retopologize this.